today we're replacing these terrible speakers with these better speakers. First thing we do is disconnect the battery down by the throttle. I can't get the camera in there to show you, but what you're going to want to do is use the little adapter rings that come uh, with the tweeters. To, the surround goes around the tweeter and that makes it the right size to go in the factory hole. And you'll need to add some wiring because these obviously are not long enough to reach the crossover. So what you're going to do is set aside the factory tweeter wire. You're not going to use it. and we're going to put the tweeter back in the hole and feed all the extra wire through. Okay, here's the way to do it. On the driver's door or passenger door, you want to pull this rubber back and there's three teeth on this plastic collar and get your screwdriver in there and pop one of them loose and um, it should pop out. At that point, take a fish tape and push it up through there. And here's the other end right here. So connect your speaker wire to it and pull it through. So just to clear up what we're doing here, these are component speakers. So this is a crossover. So we're going to mount the crossover on the door. And this is the input. So we're essentially going to cut the stock speaker plug off. And we're going to wire it to input. And then what this is going to do are there's TW and WF, tweeter and woofer. So this tweeter line is going to go up to the tweeter we just mounted in the dash and it's going to connect to the wiring that we just pulled through and WF is woofer and so that's going to go from the crossover down to the woofer so that just separates the sound and doesn't send any bass to the tweeter. So just to be clear, what we did here is we fed the wire 
down through the hole in the dash. The tweeter is in there, you just can't see it. So your wire needs to go down, snap the tweeter in from the top, and your wiring is gonna run down, pull through here. So now what we're gonna do, is I'm just gonna use the fish again to get this wire into the door. We have this gray wire that comes down from our tweeter. That's going to get wired to the TW tweeter output on the crossover. So these go together. This is the input wire on the crossover. This gets soldered to the speaker wire coming from the van. And the last wire is this one labeled WF. And this one gets wired straight to the speaker. Up top I wired the wire with the stripe, went to the wire with the stripe, so I'm just matching stripes. With this particular speaker setup, the wire with the red stripe on the crossover is positive. So on a factory speaker plug on the driver's side, the brown violet is positive, and on the passenger side it's the brown orange that's positive. So now we're going to cut off the factory plug. We're going to wire it to the input on the crossover. We're putting brown violet, which is positive on the driver's side, to the red striped wire on the crossover. If you haven't used these, you save a ton of time. I wish I would have bought these years ago. to put some terminal ends on the WF, the woofer. These will go directly to the speaker. So one thing I struggle with on my build is having limited time for working on the van and close to half of the time that I do have gets spent on doing research and figuring out what parts are going to work. Um, I found that if I don't spend that time then I end up getting the wrong parts or end up spending way more time trying to come up with a workaround. So what I'm trying to do through this video series is try and save you guys some of that time and tell you what solutions work. And uh, in the case of this stereo These are the original speakers. These are the aftermarket ones. They're much larger. These won't fit in the door the way that they are. So there is a guy that makes these adapter rings and they're drilled specifically for this van. I believe he makes them for Ford Transits and Ram Promasters as well. And it's designed to fit right on here. Then you take your aftermarket speaker and it drops right in and you just drill the holes where you want it. So these adapter rings are made in about three different sizes and the reason I chose these speakers is I did find out lots of people, the sprinters are using these and so if you use the 5.625 inch adapter ring it does work perfectly with these speakers. So, so one way that you can help me is um, I'll provide links to these items in the description of the video and if you purchase through the links it doesn't cost anything to use the links but I do get a small commission from Amazon and that does it does help a little bit and it keeps my interest up in doing these videos because naturally 
taking the time to record and process a video takes time away from being able to work on the van, but it is one way that you can give back if you feel like it. If you don't want to, that's, that's fine too. So now that we have everything wired, we have our factory speaker input going to the input side of the crossover. We have the TW, the tweeter, wired up to our tweeters that we installed and they snapped right into the dash. And now WF output, woofer. We have our, our ends soldered on and shrink wrapped. So one thing that I have done is I took a hammer and I, I beat the metal back just a little bit right here. That's where the speaker connections are. And I don't know that that had to be done, but I wanted to prevent any chance of the, um, the wires grounding on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, some tape around the wires as well. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and mount these up. So these are the factory torque screws that hold the ring on. Okay, now we push the connectors on the speaker. So we have the red striped wire going to the uh, terminal marked positive on the speaker, and the other one going to negative. So now we go ahead and screw the speaker in. So while I'm in here, I'm also hitting it with some insulation. So I've got some Thensulate 600, and I've got some scraps left over. So I've got a sheet and some scraps, and I'm on the here. So it's all up and running, no problems, it sounds good. I think the thing you have to remember is to have realistic expectations. This particular van um, is a cargo van, so there's only two tweeters and two woofers. There'll be um, two more speakers I'm going to add in the rear. Um, the passenger vans have more speakers than what this has, so next steps are to, I need to have the rear speaker outputs activated um, by the, the dealership on the head unit. Um, I do want to keep the factory head unit. Um, so I'll have those activated. I'm going to add two speakers in the rear and I don't need anything crazy but I am going to add an amplifier and a uh, small subwoofer just to round out the sound. But um, And I'll be able to do that without pulling any of the door panels apart again. Um, just need to pull the head unit and um, tap into the speakers there. So that'll be the next project. But for now, sound's definitely improved and um, yeah, be looking for part two. So all the links for the products I used are in the description and uh, good luck with your project.